Morning guys, thanks for joining us again. In today's video I'm going to be showing you how to fit a throttle cable conversion to our Austin Healey 104 project car. Are you listening? Damn. Uh. Let's have a little look what the throttle cable conversion kit consists of. Standard Bowden cable with a couple of special fittings on the end. Now then, at the pedal end, we've got this lever that will go onto your pedal bar itself. Ignore the, the copper, it's a little bit loose for our pedal, so I've made a little copper bush, which will help it fit the bar a little bit better. Got a nice little fancy clevis on the end, and then a bracket that will go into your bulkhead. I'll show you that in a second. And then at the other end of the cable, coming round, this particular kit, is designed I believe to mount on where the choke goes so that it pulls the throttle open on the original lever and then you've got a little lever that can also be used on the throttle bar itself to open the two carbs. The kit also came with a, a varying amount of little bits and bobs which I've already started cutting holes in and filing down and it also came with a bell crank post and split pin and special washer and things like that. Let's head over to the car and then I'll show you our plan of attack to get it fitted. I believe initially the kit was designed to bolt onto the two carb holes and then pick up on this bar here, which would then lift up with the cable to open the carbs. Now, I'll just give you an idea of what we've got. These are the original ball joints and bell crank and an, originally a bar would have come across to here and it would have pulled which pushed the throttle open. Now like I say the cable conversion was designed I believe to come in the top here, pick up on here to lift it open but as you can imagine we want to make it as invisible as we possibly can in appearance. So what we've done is retain the ball joints and the threaded bar and the bell crank and then we're going to feed our conversion kit in here, mount it off of our M-Spec heat shield, pick up on this original point so that it pulls and pushes the throttle open. So I'm hoping that a lot of the cable conversion kit will be hidden in behind the carb and what you see when you look into the engine bay is originality or as close as you can be. So let's mock it up and route the Bowden cable through the bulkhead from the pedal which is all the way down here. Get some clips, clip it up underneath the bulkhead as invisibly as possible and then we'll have a look at mounting it up and see how pretty we can make it. We are down in the footwell I have a sneaky feeling that today is going to be a little bit trickier to film than I thought because we've got an engine in the way. Right then, ah, original standard pedal and pedal bracket and pedal bar if you will. All we've done is we've just put a stopper on there because we were thought that if you were putting your foot down over there there's a potential for the pedal to work its way out and then start hitting the body. So we've just cut a little bit off on the brackets that was a little bit longer, put a grub screw in it and that will stop it moving over that way. Now that pushing pedal action with the lever on over there translates as you push the pedal down, the lever goes down. So that is going to pick up on that clevis and then the bracket is probably going to go somewhere up here. So let's get the cable in, get the bracket in and then mark up and get some holes drilled. And I'm also hoping that that amount of movement that we've got on that lever, that you know full pedal travel inch and a half, will translate to the same amount of movement up on the carbs which will give us full travel on our pedal and full opening on our throttle. Now also we do have the ability to drill holes further up that lever if you will. So if we've got too much throw we can always drill a hole a little bit further up the post itself and then that will give us less movement on the lever but the same pedal travel on our throttle pedal. 
Right, that's the lever and the bracket fitted onto the bulkhead. And now, if I push the pedal down, that pulls the lever down, which will open the carbs. Let's head over to the end that goes onto the carburetors, remove one of the carburetors for access, and then get ourselves a nice little bracket mounted up on the heat shield, and then hopefully make it all work. Right, we'll just quickly remove this carb, like that, and then put some blue roll in that port to stop it getting blocked, like that. Lovely. Right, um, let me go and get some fittings and I'll show you our plan of attack. Take this little fitting that we've just drilled a very small hole in, and also filed half of it off. Pop it in the back of here, into the bell crank with a nut, bear with me. Nice little 1032 nylock, so that you can have it nice and free, because obviously as it's moving forwards and backwards, it needs to turn a little bit. So we'll put it on with the nylock and then we can have it nice and free running. And then we have a standard Bowden cable adjuster, if you will, which will give us a little bit of adjustment on the job. And then the cable will simply go in the end of here. This will need cutting because it's way too long. And then this little L-shaped bracket will screw into here. And then the cable will go into here. And then it all should be nice and hidden behind the carb and hopefully we won't have any clearance issues. I'll just pop it up a little bit higher so that we can clear the, the body of the carb and the fuel bowl, etc. So mark up drill, put bracket on, measure bowed and cable, remove it all from the job, zip, cut it in half, and yes, it won't have a pretty end on it, but it'd be hidden up inside of here. So we'll cut that nice and clean with a disc cutter. And then cable stopper on the end of there, and put it all together, and fingers crossed, should be beautiful. Carb back on, never see it, and to all intents and purposes, it will look nice and stock. Right. Outer cable cut, bracket fitted, and also onto the bell crank as well. So let's go and give it a try. That works really nicely. A few little things to do. We're gonna have to cut the end of this inner cable because it's way too long and it's flapping around. Um, and also we're gonna to have to incorporate a return spring as well. I'm thinking down at the throttle pedal end, drill a hole in the L-shaped bracket and drill a hole in the lever on the pedal on the outside of the bulkhead so that we can just slip a spring in there and then we can experiment with different lengths and different strengths of springs to give us the correct return on the pedal. We've now got a return spring. And now if we press the pedal down, and let go, it spring returns. There we go. Perfect. And let's have a look at it at the other end. So there we go then, throttle cable conversion kit fitted, and as always, one step closer to turning the key and getting the engine running. As always guys, if you enjoyed today's video and it was helpful, please give it a thumbs up, and if you want to see more from us, don't forget to subscribe. See you again soon, Gearbox next week. Take care.